Morning Man of Church, Ben Goodman here. Welcome to the sixth and final session of this week's Morning Man. Today I'd like to end our devotional series on the Holy Spirit on a challenging yet encouraging note. We are in a war, a spiritual war that has a long history. It started, of course, in the Garden of Eden and has been engaged throughout history and around the world. This war continues to this very day, and we are in the middle of it whether we like it or not. In this war, there are two kinds of enemies. First, there's an internal enemy. There is a war within ourselves. We all know what it's like to want to do things God's way, while at the same time debating with Him, resisting Him, even just ignoring His will. It's, it's a pretty common battle. But we shouldn't be surprised. Scripture tells us that our sinful nature is hostile to God. There are still parts of us that simply resist God's word and his ways. Second, we're at war against an external enemy. There is an enemy, Satan and the world system, not people, which is hostile to Jesus. It's hostile to his ways, his values, his kingdom, even his followers. Scripture teaches us that this enemy seeks to devour, deceive, distract, kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus himself tells us that there are gates of hell and that the world will hate us because the world first hated him. So being a Christ follower is challenging because we're at war against both an external and an internal enemy. That's the bad news. Here's the good news. Spiritual battles are normal for followers of Jesus. And learning to fight these battles is an important part of God's plan for us. God wants to train and to equip us to fight and to win these battles. This is where fellowship with the Holy Spirit can be so important. This is where being filled with the Holy Spirit really comes into the play, into play. The Holy Spirit equips us for battle if we let him. In Luke chapter 4, we're told that Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit and then led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. In that wilderness, Jesus was tempted by fame, fortune, power, shortcuts, immediate gratification of uh, natural appetites, you name it. In other words, Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit and led by the Holy Spirit into a series of battles. In each battle, because he was filled with the Holy Spirit, because of his strong fellowship with the Holy Spirit, Jesus was able to see clearly the battle lines, discern what his Father's will was, and then act accordingly. In each instance, Jesus won the battle. What we can learn from this are two principles. What we are full of is what will lead us, and what we are full of is what we will fight with. If we are filled with unforgiveness, religion, tradition, the past, pride, fear, anxiety, worldly wisdom, that is what will lead us and guide us. And that is what we will fight our battles with. But as we are filled with the Holy Spirit, as we are surrendered to the person and ministries of the Holy Spirit, we will find ourselves learning how to be increasingly victorious we will find ourselves depending more and more on the Holy Spirit's ways, His wisdom, His power instead of our own. Keeping filled with the Holy Spirit, cultivating fellowship with the Holy Spirit is a great foundation from which to engage the battles we will all most certainly face. It has truly been an honor serving you all during this last week of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. May what God has started during our 21 days of prayer and fasting, may it stick with us all the days of our lives. Hope to see you again soon.